So now let's take a look at the menisci. We're going to go through some orthopedic tests to really evaluate the lateral and the medial meniscus. So first off, what we find really works well and is actually backed up by a lot of research is just joint line tenderness. There's a high correlation between joint line tenderness and meniscus problems. So first off, if we were to palpate the, uh, the lateral meniscus, we'd find the joint line and we'd really get in there in between the femur and the tibia and just kind of palpate. How's that? Okay, Lindsay? Not hurting you? Uh, it's minorly tender on that side. Okay. But not and then we'd move to the medial meniscus. So we actually look at this knee here because you can see it a lot easier. So once again, we're going to find the joint line right in there. And once again, we're, we're getting in there and just palpating and assessing for any joint line tenderness. Doing okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, good. So now we'll have you lie uh, flat on your back here in supine position. So moving from the joint line, what we're going to do is just assess a uh, uh, general movement here of the knee. So uh, as we go into external rotation, we're going to be stressing that lateral meniscus and internal rotation of the tibia would be more the medial meniscus. So first off, just going to do some range of motion here. Actually, let me hold you this way. There we go. And at the same time, you can palpate the joint line and just assess for tenderness. And then if we go back the other way, I'm actually going to come to the medial aspect. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So transitioning from here, we could actually go into McMurray's test. So basically we're gonna to start to extend the knee and create varying degrees of internal or external rotation as we're palpating the joint line. So we're gonna go down a little further. Yeah, you doing okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go back and we go the other way with some external rotation. One down again, good. Just palpating through here. Okay, good. So now, uh, let's actually have you go face down. So you're gonna go prone. And so what we'll do here is called the, the Apley's test. So we're gonna bend the knee, and this gives us the mechanical advantage because we're gonna be able to push down in towards the joint, compressing the meniscus, and we're gonna create either external internal rotation and assess. Uh, and it's kind of a C motion on either side. So if we were to go this way, we're just gonna kind of do that C motion. And at the same time, you get your hand down in here and, and palpate different aspects of the joint. There we go. Doing okay? Uh -huh. And now going to the inside, we do the same idea. We're gonna palpate and we're gonna come this way. Okay, and then sometimes I'll also just put a pressure into the joint and just externally and internally rotate the tibia just to see if that elicits any discomfort. Okay, so now actually let's have you stand. So you're gonna maybe stand in the corner here. So this next test is called the Thessalies, and so what this does is it'll load the joint in a weight-bearing position, and that way we can analyze and see if there's anything going on with the meniscus. So I'm gonna have you stand on one leg, and then I'm gonna rotate your torso here, and we're gonna put stress. So by turning you this way, we're stressing the lateral meniscus, and turning you that way, we're stressing the medial. So I'm gonna go back and forth a little bit. Good, doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, and relax there. And then uh, one thing, if deemed appropriate during the examination, if, if it's not a contraindication, to load the posterior aspects of the menisci, you can actually have your patient perform a duck walk. So if you're willing there, Lindsay, and have you squat down and just walk like a duck. Perfect. Great, okay. And that uh, completes general assessment of the menisci.